We recently shared some compelling evidence suggesting that a number of megalithic sites dotted all around the world are far older than the civilizations claimed as the builders. The pregnant woman of Baalbek, for example, a megalithic stone many attribute as the largest ever man-moved stone. And although many stones slightly lighter can be found effortlessly placed within ancient structures everywhere, academia stresses that it couldn't be moved any further. The same can be seen with Yangshan Quarry in China, China, home to the largest known cut megalith in the world. Again, academia suggests that this stone was abandoned due to its size, completely ignoring the enigmatic notches, indicating that the entire shape of these enormous rocks had actually been carved prior to their attempted liberation from the bedrock. They insisted that it was abandoned suddenly not due to unknown circumstances, but due to them not able to move them. And although the ancient Egyptians, and better known, seagoing Romans themselves, claimed ownership to many of these perplexing structures with impossible architecture and clearly displaying a severe level of erosion, there are some sites coming to light which have seemingly been left to the eons, never again being claimed as another's work. Deep within the southern wildernesses of Siberia lies the mountain of Shoria. Rarely visited by humans, and even less frequently studied, this remote mountain, however, was a few years ago discovered to be the home of something astonishing. Now known as the Gornaya Shoria megaliths, their truly astonishing enormity has made it hard for certain fields of study to even give this place a second glance. And although some of the structure now revealed to the world through photographs clearly shows that these remarkable stone walls have indeed an artificial origin, the few funded individuals who have looked at the site have still somehow had the audacity to claim that it is nothing more than a geological formation. Made with stone bricks many times larger than the stone of the pregnant woman, and with them reaching high up into the heavens far above the tree lines, one has to wonder who could have built this Cyclopean wall? When did they build it? How did they build it? Where did such enormous stones come from? With such enormous structural blocks, it is no surprise that this mind-boggling structure has survived the tests of time. Was this enormous structure built when the climates of Siberia were much milder? It is important to note, as if we have suggested many times, an ancient, advanced, stone-working civilization once thrived here on Earth many, many years ago. Many of their smaller stone structures would have slowly eroded away, until now appearing to be nothing more than geological. A convenient circumstance for funded geologists yet not a viable explanation for a site made from 4,000-plus ton granite blocks, thus exceptionally resilient to the elements. A remarkable location, one which needs serious archaeological explorations in search of remains, so we may one day ascertain the true builders of this amazing place. We recently covered the perplexing, yet little shared ancient artifact which can be found at the ancient site of Patara. We covered the fact that some of the inventions accredited to the Romans within the modern day may have been borrowed concepts with origins located far within our distant past. As with the supposed ancient Egyptian sites on the Giza Plateau, many ancient ruins contain megalithic blocks whose movement into position not only evades modern explanation, but lacks any detailed recording of the mammoth task by any of these so-called culprits for construction, rather it seems a worldwide conspiracy has occurred. It is well known that history is written by the victor. Maybe this is a fitting explanation for the academic ignorance witnessed on a daily basis. The Baalbek Trilithon, a group of three horizontally lying stones which form part of the podium of the Roman Jupiter Temple of Baalbek, Lebanon. Numerous archaeological expeditions have gone to the site, starting in the 19th century primarily German and French groups, and research continued into the 20th century. Each of these stones is 70 feet long, 14 feet high, and 10 feet thick, weighing around 800 tons each. And conveniently, each of these modern academic studies concluded the same thing, 
completely absent of any explanation as to their placement. The entire foundation of this ancient structure is unexplainable, with a number of stones weighing over 350 tons, thus indicative of lost knowledge, not modern architecture. It should seem obvious that to declare otherwise would be foolish, yet this is what's witnessed all over the earth every day. And we are yet to mention the world famous, yet equally perplexing stone of the pregnant woman, also at Baalbek, and weighing in at an astonishing 1,000 tons. As Yuri Muzik put it, quote, In 27 BC, the Roman Emperor Augustus supposedly took the unfathomable decision to build in the middle of nowhere the grandest and mightiest temple of antiquity, having no obvious reasons for selecting Baalbek as the temple's building site. The much greater erosion of the big Baalbek blocks qualifies as material proof of their much greater age." End quote. It seems that as we suspected, the evidence is mounting to support the far more logical claim that an advanced lost civilization's heritage has been stolen by different, more modern civilization all over the world. A great civilization did once flourish here on Earth, one which has been actively suppressed, stolen from, exploited, and hidden for far too long. Continuing on from our previous video where Don discusses the amazing and incredibly intricate artistic wonder that is the Kailash Temple, we felt it a good time to cover another incredible ancient wonder, and indeed set of rock-cut temples known as Madan Saleh. Predictably, a little shared enigmatic site, it is located within modern-day Saudi Arabia. Purportedly dating from the Nabataean Kingdom, 1st century AD, it is the southernmost settlement after the better-known, yet no less impressive Petra, made famous by the Indiana Jones epics. In 2008, UNESCO proclaimed Madan Saleh a site of patrimony, becoming Saudi Arabia's first World Heritage Site. 131 rock-cut monumental structures said to have been built as tombs. However, as they were cut with such precision, their existence is clearly a mysterious one. Very little is known regarding the ancient builders of these sites. The little we do know was left on several mysterious and invaluable plaques, which adorn a select few of these rock-cut structures. Although the insides of the tombs appear to have been rather crudely finished, the outer exteriors are clearly phenomenally refined. For a civilization even a mere 2,000 years ago to have managed to create such precise structures remains a tough thing for mainstream archaeology to explain. Just like the many other sites, Pumapunka, Giza, etc., etc., they display a far superior level of ability to that of which we are led to believe. And as always, mystery history presumes it is not the historic record which is incorrect, but rather the antiquity of these structures which is actually being hidden, their true age concealed and attributed to a post-cataclysmic civilization rather than their true creator. The Nabataeans, the academically claimed builders, were quite advanced for their chronological position within history regardless, supposedly having a strongly democratic society sharing wealth and land equally amongst the tribe. They also displayed an incredibly complex understanding of hydraulic systems. The name Mada and Saleh, or the city of Salih, is also interestingly associated with a very ancient prophet, which is also connected to an ancient tribe known as the tribe of Talmud. Saleh is also the equivalent to a very ancient figure mentioned within the Hebrew Bible. The tribe of Talmud, said to be the descendants of the biblical Noah, However, the Tamid were also said to have become very corrupt, materialistic, and stopped believing in God. According to the accounts, this is when God sent Prophet Salih to warn them that if they would continue in that way, they would be destroyed, a prophecy which eventually came true. To this day, the remains of the ancient sites are considered by some to be cursed. What do you think regarding the rock-cut tombs of Mada and Saleh? Remnants left by a culture some 2,000 years ago with the use of copper and stone tools? Or structures left by a far more advanced, far more capable ancient people, whose entire existence is attributed to others, subsequently concealing it here upon our planet? Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.